EE319K Super Finals contestants are Frogger. This is a uh, Frogger. <laughs> we didn't probably hear that as much as we would have with the sound on. There you go. Loud, um, and that we could distinguish each of these rows. So within our code, uh, within our code, we have all of these rows labeled, and we have the y-axis logo so that we can control the position of the frog. Um, and you can see the collision detection with the frog and the cars. Um, it's pretty accurate. You can get within pixel, one pixel of the car, and can you not get hit. Um, one of the challenges we face, Zach, yeah. with, I'll switch off with him, and he can talk a little bit about how he designed the sprites in the um, collision detection system. And uh, so we have a, a, basically a audio. And then we use a larger breadboard for all the input output systems. Um, and then we found this great. Yes. Okay. So. And B and is hard and double E is easy. <laughs> Basically, because you know, double E has much more experience. They take like circuit classes, and we just were like thrown into this. Yeah, come on in. So the first three labs were kind of just LEDs, like heartbeats. So the first, um, we just had to choose the LED. And then oh, uh, as each level guess. progresses, you have to shoot it more times, but you get a little bit more time to do it with each one. And um, that was something that's going to have um, rockets. So Ooh. they're like, <laughs> like guided rockets. So oh, <laughs> guided rockets! <laughs> yeah. Looks like some trick going on there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's guided rockets, and we call them in the zone rockets because you know when you're in the zone, you just can't miss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the yeah. piano lab. That one's the piano, and this one's the LCD. Ooh, yeah. get that. Having a little trouble, you just get your in-the-zone rocket, and you're shooting out the slide pot. Things are getting faster, starts are tingling. I wish you had, like, a coffee thing that you could obtain to everything slow down. I'm not a big coffee guy. You are a video game, so we did a Game Boy, and so this one, Lab, Lab 10 actually has a special feature, we call it an all-nighter laser. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And you hit it with a laser, and then you get assigned your grade based on how well you did, and we have a game. Yay! Yeah. Our game is 319K Invasion. It's similar style. It's kind of like Space Invaders that's themed after the class. And so we have our little decorative box with uh, the arcade style. And at the bottom, so basically you have these little guns and you try to shoot each of the labs as they're coming down. And you can like upgrade your weapons and stuff. And you can see we got our little button and our side pod. And then. So you have to shoot each one one time. So you can see he's this little gun and you can it back and forth. And after you shoot it, it pops up with like an A+. Plus. Lab three will take three, and you have to do lab three before you can do lab four. So like, you can finish off lab three, and then you can start on lab four. And you can see his GPA is increasing every time he finishes off killing a lab. So, um, he's approaching the deadline, which is the red line down here. That's considered the deadline. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then you are losing. So he's got kind of one to get to the bottom of it. So the next level is the ball. Oh. <laughs> at 3.5 right now, and it's going to go up, so now it says final exam at the top, and <laughs> we have to destroy it, so we upgrade our weapons and weapons. So now he's right there. Professor's win! Professor's win! Come on, Professor's win! You're a ball, and you're a ball. Sprites of their faces. That was like originally we tried to do like our faces and we like thought it'd be really funny to do the professors and then we thought we could shoot the professors. And <laughs> the professors. So um, and we can shoot back. We uh we converted their like picture into like the little bitmap file and it like got really pixelated. So then we started drawing on it and like making our own faces. So as you like saw that as the picture was going down, his face was actually toggling and we made Volvano stick his tongue out at you. And your Volley's eyes grow red and he frowns at you. So like every time they go down, their faces toggle back and forth and they get start going faster once one of them is killed the other one speeds up and so it gets a little more challenging very very good very good so I'm gonna interview you. we did a port of Super Mario Bros um, for the embedded systems and we thought it would be kind of nostalgic to play this game so um, as you can see we actually have animations for jumping walking the whole background uh, we had to create a background engine that scrolls as you play uh, it's just like the original game, you can't go backwards, so the uh, left side of the screen is effectively a collision. Um, we have Goombas, they can't kill you, you can kill them by landing on top, just like in the original game. Uh, the number four spawns to one.
one of the packages, and then it prints it, and then you have this update function that allows you to scroll by basically shifting everything by tab. Oh no, big hole. Oh, look at 319. Awesome. Is that what's is that in the original? No. <laughs> Sound is we actually an external sound. So, hey, my name is Divya, and this is James, and our game is called Hell on Earth. Scary. Okay, we're play, so it's um, the general so premise is that you are in a medieval world, and you have to kind of battle evil enemies that come your way. So, the first thing you do is select a character. You have a ranger and a wizard. Which one so do you guys want? The wizard. Wizard? wizard? Okay. okay. <laughs> Kidding. You can't <laughs> wizard. Your so, you're <laughs> and yeah. you want to win. Next one. You want, okay. Okay. <laughs> so the way you play is that you click the uh, buttons to shoot arrows. Um, uh, yeah. The enemies actually have randomized firing back at you, and so you can't predict when it's going to shoot. Um, if you collide with their firing, then it disappears, and each, both you and the enemies have health levels, so you have to hit the enemies multiple times, and you, you have to get hit multiple times. Um, three dozen eggs. Okay. Uh, level two. There are three oh different God. levels of I, each one. Is kind it of is hell on earth. <laughs> <laughs> so three different levels, yeah. um, and okay. you go through the Real different ones. Second. You want to show them the enemies? Yeah, go. Level? Okay. Yeah, go. Yeah. So they look scarier, and they Ooh. have more health, but there are fewer of them. They, they, shoot, mice. they shoot faster, though. So who drew the pictures? They're go or gorgeous. I drew all the pictures. Yeah, James, they're gorgeous. <laughs> I spent way too much time. You have no other classes. It's OK. Just this one. The only, the only die. <laughs> all right. Why do you know die? OK. How many levels are there? Three levels and then a boss level. OK. I made so, the sword spin. Yeah, so this one actually throws spinning swords at you. <laughs> That's <laughs> Hello, everybody! <laughs> Welcome to Battleship! Okay, so, as we see, welcome, Captain! If Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to destroy your enemy's entire fleet. Are you up to the challenge? I'm up to the challenge. All right! Now we're going to use our slider right here to begin. Okay, I'll be player one, so Katie's going to look away. And first, we set our ships. We go left and right first, and you click enter, and then you can move down. And we have three ships. There's a four ship, a three ship, and a two ship, but they're not submarines, so you can't put them on top of each other. Down here, oh, oh, down here is our fleet screen, and this is our attack screen. So now we use the same kind of move left and right, and then up and down to choose where we want to attack. <laughs> And then it'll tell you whether you oh. missed or hit, and there'll be a white dot if you missed and then get to the end. That is your shot. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. To the right? Okay. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah. We. <laughs> we yeah! <laughs> so, we wanted to choose a game that um, involved a lot of strategy um, and paid attention to detail. So, ah, that's. Okay. Wait, does anyone else? Gotcha. Yep. We wanted uh, to find a way to make a handheld game that you could, a uh, way to use one board but and yet not cheat. So it goes back and forth. The battle's intense. <laughs> right. Right. Um, yeah, there it is. All right. Uh, oh. She won. So yeah. And we have instructions, but I'll just tell you how it goes. Um, so there's these different colored snoods, and <coughs> you're trying to get three or more of the same color, and when you do, they disappear. And you can bounce them off the walls. Should we turn that down a little bit? I did. I'm trying. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, and when you shoot one, the danger may be And if you get three or, or four or more in a row, it goes back. This is snood. <laughs> I like the. I'd like to, since it's almost uh, 12:40, you are voting time. Thank you again.